I got the Snowman B600, 6000, uh, sorry, it's a 6000, uh, BM6000 uh, model. Uh, this is the legendary, this is not the legendary model, but this is like the refined one. It got six heat pipes, uh, a high TDP of uh, 200, I believe. Uh, let's see, maybe it's more than that. Uh, basically, it's a uh, 155 millimeter uh, height cooler. It has a uh, 120 uh, millimeter fan, two fans of those. They run at uh, 1500 RPM, so it should be quiet. Uh, it weighs 69 grams, or no, 60, 690 has a four pin interface for the fans uh... yeah see I found that's a, an impressive airflow and it's uh, rated as uh... fifteen to uh, twenty five dba sound so should be pretty quiet and it supports uh... all of uh, amd the am5 am4 am3 plus am3 AM2 Plus and AM2, FM2, FM1, and for Intel, it supports the 1366, uh, uh, the 1155X, like all of the LJ115 and uh, the LJ120 and the LJ1700, and of course the the socket that I bought it for, I bought it for the 2011 uh, and the 2011 V3 and the 2066, but I bought it for a 2011 V3, the X99 uh, kind of socket, so uh, this is what I'm going to use it for. Uh, let's jump right into uh, the cooler, let's see what's inside the package, I want to see how it looks like. Yeah, so that's the cooler right here looks pretty awesome pretty nice look at the big heatsink that we you have over here it's very nice it's a single tower has dual fans configuration they already came mounted so that's pretty cool already connected to a splitter over here that will connect into the CPU fan header like to install them you'll have to take off the fan so I will take off these fans obviously once I am ready to install it the fans they look pretty nice like uh, aren't too bad they have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 10 blades or 9 blades I think I overcounted it 10 blades and uh, over here you have the bag with all the accessories the manual over here the installation guide and uh, yeah, as I mentioned, it supports all of the sockets, like even sockets from like almost 20 years ago, like FM1 and AM1, that's like really, really old AM AMD uh, sockets. Uh, the LGA uh, 1366, that's like almost 15 years, 15 years old socket, so this is like... It really had a wide variety of compatibility, so this is this cooler is amazing. Like this is why I, that, that's what I like about air coolers. Like they 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 gonna support like this these kind of things. And uh, as you can see, you have six heat pipes. With that's what they advertise it at. So. I think this is uh, pretty much a bang for the buck, but we do need to see the uh, how it performs, how it uh, dissipates the heat, and if it, it performs great, then it's gonna be the bargain of a lifetime because I've paid uh, around thirty-five dollars for it, so that is an insane deal to pay for a cooler like that, to be honest. So I'm anxious to see if it's gonna perform like a little bit you know just around the neighborhood of thermal ride something like that you know or uh, a little bit like the deep pool cooler that I uh, bought a while ago I'm pretty sure it's gonna surpass the deep pool the AG uh, 400 plus that I bought I think it's gonna do better because the six heat pipes and uh, just overall the build quality you could see that it's really high quality over here I mean I like it so uh, 
we'll just have to put it to the test and uh, yeah, see uh, how it performs. So uh, yeah, I'm going to install it right here right now. This is uh, my... Uh, You've seen this motherboard in many of my videos right now. I've been using it uh, to test a few things, but this eventually will go into uh, my storage server. I'm not gonna put it in that case. I bought a new case with 36 bays. This is a whole different uh, subject that I will talk about like in future videos, so stay tuned for that. Stay subscribed like if you wanna catch that, but I will be installing it. Eventually this will be my uh, storage server motherboard so uh, I will be installing this cooler right here because eventually this is the cooler that's gonna go inside of it and uh, I'll use this cooler in some other machine because uh, I have uh, different plans for it maybe my AMD I'll put it back we'll see uh, but yeah I'm just gonna jump into installation right now and uh, we'll take a closer look once I get it uh, installed into the motherboard so I got the cooler installed on my motherboard right here. It sits beautifully. It was super easy to install. One of the easiest uh, CPU uh, coolers that I've ever installed. Gotta give it that. The instructions are pretty well. I mean, I guess they could have included like separate uh, sections for the installation because they have it all over the place. But I, I figured it out like easily and uh, it's pretty easy to install this thing. I guess uh, also from experiencing uh, having installing a lot of uh, CPU coolers, you know, <laughs> kind of like figure it out already on your own. Uh, so yeah, but uh, it was super duper easy to install. And uh, right now I'm going to uh, power it on, power the system on, and uh, we'll take a closer look. I want to see the temperatures on this thing. Uh, I have to put the graphics card back in. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically this thing it was pretty easy to to install. Like it's not hard to uh, figure the installation. The what what you have to do like the manual is okay, not too complicated. They could have created like uh, separate sec sections uh, as I mentioned, but. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Uh, so right here I have my uh, portable monitor that you uh, saw in a different video. I'm using it already, you see, like I, t I told you I'm using it. So uh, yeah, let's power this on. It turns on. Looks like the, these could be like uh, RGB fans, but without the RGB connector, because uh, these are white, but it doesn't matter. So uh, both of the fans are running, doesn't run in full speed yet, but, uh, but yeah, it's nice and we have a successful boot, obviously, and it's booting, and yeah, it's, uh, let me turn off my fan over here, because it's really hot in here, I couldn't, uh... yeah, I mean, it's not silent, but it's not a problem for me because I'm really used to uh, high loud sounds, you know, uh, CPU sounds, you know, CPU fan sounds, so uh, this is not a problem for me, but I do want to load, uh, let's see, we have a speed fan over here, I think, I'm not sure, hold on, let me just use my mouse. Touchscreen is nice and all, but uh, I think we need the keyboard here to get it faster. I don't know if I have speed fan. I remember that I thought I did, but okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, basically, I'll just install it right now, and I would because I really want to see if this is running at high speed right now. I think it does but uh, I want to make sure because I want to hear the sound what it sounds like when it uh, runs on full speed so I just want to make sure that it indeed runs at full speed and I want to see the temperatures, the CPU temperatures okay so I installed a speed fan over here indeed it was running at 100% uh, the fans they were running at 100% over here 
So it is kind of loud. It has uh, some sort of a weird noise to it, but uh, it's it's not gonna bother me any, really, to be honest with you. I'm used to far worse sounds than this. In the, in the summer, I probably, but I could uh, control the the speed here. Like, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, I'm decreasing the percentage. And you see, like, the RPM goes down. Like, it's not going to stop the fan, but I can take it down to zero. But in the summer, I'm going to keep it on percent. Because uh, really, the, the noise isn't bothering me any. It's not a problem to me. Uh, it runs at uh, 1324 RPM. Keeping the CPU at uh, 36 uh, Celsius, 37 right now, which is not too bad because uh, we have the 2673 uh, uh, V3 in there, the 12 cores, uh, 24 threads uh, CPU, the the one that runs at uh, 2.4 gigahertz, and uh, yeah, I mean uh, it's not too bad. I mean the temperatures are okay, acceptable. I would say it's performing less than the thermal ride. This is the this one over there, the one that I that was installed over here. It was the thermal ride uh, True Spirit 120 uh, plus with the two fans. I'm pretty sure the the fans on the thermal ride is they are far more uh, higher quality than this thing. I think the fans here are less quality than these. So this is the what makes the difference. But uh, yeah. All in all, like uh, I would, I don't need uh, that much higher quality for this. I mean, 37 Celsius is acceptable for me. This is just going to be used as a storage server, and nothing beyond that. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. So uh, basically, yeah, that's the that's all I have to say about this cooler, the Snowman BM6000 uh, BK, the black version without the RGB, you can get this cooler with an ARGB fans if you want uh, ARGB, if you want them to light up but uh, I didn't need any of those, not at all the, this system is not gonna have any RGB in it because it's gonna go to a, a case something like that but I'm not gonna use this case anymore I'm get, I got like a 36 uh, bay out of somebody that didn't need it and I uh, thought that maybe I could use uh, both of these cases in the future as a I could use this one as a JBOD uh, expansion like a, a DAS like a direct attached storage with uh, external uh, SFF 8080 uh, 8088 uh, connectors uh, I could use them and that way I will have more storage become an even, uh, even bigger uh, <laughs> data hoarder <laughs> yeah but uh, basically uh, this has pretty much been the video about this uh, cooler if you liked it uh, make sure you stay tuned because uh, I will have more uh, videos about uh, different coolers I bought uh, another uh, thermal right cooler also with the uh, true spirit 120 but this time it's the ultimate variant not the plus I have the plus as well so uh, there will be like a lot of uh, CPU uh, hair coolers because uh, I'm really into them right now, <laughs> as you can tell. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.